hello everyone welcome to another new video in this video i'm going to demonstrate uh, green cms pro uh, i already opened my project let me just build and uh, if i give you give you the simple overview uh, about the green cms pro this is the dotnet dotnet based uh, cms uh, content management system uh, we have used sp.net uh, uh, 6.0 for database, uh, we have used Entity Framework Core, MS SQL Server, and just to, I'm just running the project. Once we run uh, the project, then initially we can able to see this the login screen. Uh, yes, project is uh, running and uh, listening the 5113 port. So we are in the right URL. Let me just maximize the login screen. So this is the uh, basically login screen, and uh, login also the dynamic you can copy the login you know, username and password just for demo purpose i'm um, just login once you log in into the application then you can able to get uh, i'm just login as an admin user you can able to get the entire application overview this is the dashboard dashboard we have uh, like uh, post page user user role and post status so uh, we can see the recent register user as well and uh, this is manage post this is the main uh, feature of this application using this uh, uh, using this part you can uh, create new post delete update and also uh, also publish the new post so i already uh, created several posts for demo purpose so and also the designation also the searching feature and you can uh, expand the row so uh, if i back to the first row uh, then uh, so all the most of the uh, post i already published so here is the blog home so if i click the blog home then we can able to see the total uh, post we have created so let me just uh, go to the blog home so that we can get the minimum overview of this uh, application so here is the home screen so home screen you can see the latest post uh, with the thumbnail and the title also the meta tag like who, who is created this uh, post and when created uh, that time also home page is uh, uh, this uh, blog um, thumbnail content also uh, designation uh, have the designations you can search as well here and additionally for the blog we have like uh, three pages about most common pays a contract and the privacy policy uh, also we have the footer and uh, you can move to the top page using this javascript simple method we have implemented it just uh, also we have a footer and uh, twitter facebook and uh, github uh, url link you can change from the admin panel dynamically also the content you can change the uh, from the admin panel for content management system so this is the very important uh, for the editor we have used uh, open source library quill.js uh, this is the most important and vital part of this project uh, for you can in this editor you can able to add uh, customize your text and content based on your needs so uh, you can add image file video and highlighted the text also copy any images uh, also you can set the uh, thumbnail and also you can status uh, you we have a several status and you can add additional status from the settings as well for status and uh, if i just create a test uh, let's say i'm going to create a uh, top reason why so many programmer cannot find post i'm just copying this title as a short description and i'm just copy one of my blog posts so that we can uh, get the actual uh, overview uh, how cool js editor uh, can give the my uh, smooth content uh, creation operation let me just give me a few seconds so that i can copy my uh, one of my medium blogs with emails so that you can get the clear overview how we are going to create the uh, post for this uh, cms stories so just copy one of my published uh, post uh, let's say popular design pattern in c sharp i'm just copying everything okay let me just copy first title uh, popular design pattern in c sharp and now i'm going to copy the main part with emails
So I have copy uh, with emails. You can add the new space. Uh, also, uh, emails is copied successfully. You can change the uh, thumbnail of this post. Uh, let's say I'm going to select like uh, our block uh, icon. So we have added emails and also the content. And if we save, then we can able to get the post uh, this is the new this post not published yet if we go to the home screen that we then we are not able to get this post because uh, admin user or who is created this post did not publish yet and the status is new uh, you can change that status by editing so if we change publish then it will be available into into the home page i'm going back to the home page and by refreshing we can able to get the design pattern and if we go to the details then you can check the post details so this is the most uh, important uh, cycle of this application create the post publish edit and finally get into the your blog so we are able to get the uh, content into our blog and if you if you want you can delete as admin user but uh, we are not going to delete the uh, entire content we are going to uh, we are going to we are going to delete it as a soft delete uh, but in in the database we have make sure a status so it's deleted and one important part of this application <coughs> we have added uh, several demo pages everything is uh, configured just uh, using uh, visual studio or vs code if you just uh, already migration is added just build and run the project uh, run the project then you can able to get entire template uh, without worry about database and a SQL script and the content also the image thumbnail everything everything is configured once you will successfully make sure the database connection uh, into the app setting.json file and once you run the project then you can get travel to uh, this entire application and manage space we have just three pays privacy policy contact us about us you can manage you can change the content title and the thumbnail image as well uh, let's say about this thumbnail and content so we have a three page you can configure and another important part of this application uh, let's say this is the logo and uh, uh, page title and the page header and the subtitle and also in the footer we have a like three link everything is uh, also the thumbnail image you can change everything from the admin panel just go to the settings and you can change site name title logo home thumbnail short description twitter url and everything so this is the setting part and uh, also you can change add the new status uh, for the post minus uh, post management and this application uh, is a uh, role-based management system i just log in as a admin user i can able to get a get uh, or control everything and edit everything but you can create a different user by uh, editing uh, the user role allowing some pages not the all the pages uh, let's say this is the admin user and if we go to the admin user uh, minus page access then we can uh, we can definitely able to check uh, able to see all the pages this uh, admin user can access because all the page is a check mark but if we go to uh, the accounts another user minus page access then this user can all only access his profile so this is the role based management you can create user and control the user and also the uh, disable the user as well and also create a, a system user role currently we have just two role admin user and general user and if we uh, go to the general user details then general user can access the profile but you can change by editing the general user access so um, this is the overall uh, demo from from the web page i'm going to publish into the uh, website i will share the link in the video description um, also uh, also share the details so that you can get you can get that uh, more idea about this application for the technical uh, technological overview uh, we have used uh, like sp.net 6.0 mbc controller pure mbc application and i already before starting of the video like introduction i already mentioned the summary very rough summary about the tech stack 
what we have used. So the database is SQL Server and Entity Framework Core, Code First, and .NET SDK 6.0. And I will update uh, very immediately to convert into the .NET 8 uh, zone, uh, but 8 is not stable yet. And for home page and front end, we have uh, for the, uh, the dynamic interaction, we have used uh, jQuery data table like searching, page, uh, page nation, and uh, uh, the more other dynamic stuff. So if I summarize this video, uh, uh, this is the complete uh, content management system uh, with .NET stack. So using .NET stack, uh, I try to build a complete uh, CMS so that you can uh, able to uh, create a way, come brand new website using this uh, admin panel. So using this admin panel, you can definitely uh, cre create a brand new website. So we have a brand new website, which is uh, green block. So you can change the title and header everything uh, from the admin settings. And you can uh, also uh, read the blog as well. And also this content is dynamically uh, loading from the backend. So image is loading this is the code code also dynamically changing uh, based on the text structure and uh, also the javascript uh, function for going to top and uh, this is the your uh, block site you are maintaining this site from this admin panel and admin panel is uh, also a dynamic I, I just log in as admin and you can check the uh, status of the post and also edit and delete also if you want you can view after the some uh, changes here is the view option as an admin user after the uh, verifying the view option then you can publish so that uh, admin user so that the public user can uh, get this uh, into the home page Uh, this is the editor, most important part of this application. I try to make it more interactive and fix some, uh, fixing some all uh, current issues. Initially, I had a couple of issues. Uh, uh, content was not loading properly and also viewing not properly. So everything I fixed. And also you can change thumbnail. And so this is the overall summary and uh, i'm just going to close this video so if you are interested to like this application then definitely uh, you can purchase uh, or get the entire complete uh, source code from the code canyon so we uh, i'm just closing this video by summarizing this uh, project title so uh, this is the project for uh, .NET cms and we have built this project using asp.net mbc framework and for database, uh, MS SQL Server and front end is uh, Razor plus jQuery. And uh, uh, this is the code first project. So you don't uh, you don't have to worry about the database skip the other content. So I just make sure everything uh, configurable and dynamic. Once you run the project, then uh, definitely will get the uh, default minimum uh, 16 posts, three uh, default pays, and the other user, other default user, and other all settings. And once you log out, then you are uh, going to get able. Also, the login screen is pretty <laughs> a little dynamic. It changes. Uh, this background image will change after a few seconds. Also, if we go to the home page, home page also the dynamic uh, home home thumbnail is uh, changing after a couple of seconds. So thank you, everyone. I uh, hope, hope uh, you guys like this uh, application. Uh, I try to make it uh, in the core base more cleaner uh, in the JavaScript part. I hope you like the JavaScript, uh, the complex code, which is I try to make it uh, pretty similar. Uh, pretty simpler and uh, for the admin panel we have used a responsive uh, admin LT which is uh, pretty good uh, for managing any admin admin portal copy and if I just log in for just uh, checking the login form so thank you everyone I uh, hope you guys uh, like this video see in the next uh, another video and if you are interested to this application just uh, Go to the code canyon or uh, share your comments in the comment section.